everyone and welcome back to another episode of Glitter Lung Lessons. I am super excited for today's art activity. We are going to be doing a mixed media art lesson today and mixed media is when you combine one, two, three, multiple types of art tools in one artwork and we're going to be creating a mixed media jellyfish today. Isn't he cute? He's a little jellyfish friend. I love him. We are going to be using paint and we are going to be using oil pastels to create this really cool little rainbow jellyfish friend. So the supplies you are going to need for today are going to be your drawing paper. And I recommend using at least a mixed media paper that will be thick enough to hold all the different types of art supplies and be okay with the paint and not have the paint soak through. You will also need a paintbrush, preferably a flat headed paintbrush. You will need a water jar or some kind of container for some water. You're going to need a paper towel and then we are going to be using our oil pastels over here and I'm using acrylic paints. You can also use tempera paints if you would rather use those as well. So let's get started. All right, guys, so what I went ahead and I did with my paper just off screen was I used a little bit of masking tape and I taped all the edges down and I went over just a little bit on the edges so that way when I peel the tape back when we're all done, I'll have created a cool little white border that we see on our example image here. So the three colors I'm going to need for my paint are going to be a purple, a blue, and a white. And I'm going to show you the way we create this really cool gradient background that kind of fades from blue to white and then into purple here. So to start, I'm going to get my brush wet. You don't want it to be soaking wet, but you want it to definitely be damp to help you with the blending. And I'm going to go ahead and dab a little bit of the extra off on my paper towel off camera and then grab some of that blue and start by pulling across my paper and going back and forth in a nice sweeping motion. Now as I work a little more down, I'm going to leave my brush dirty and then I'm going to take some white and dip it into the white here and then overlap that white paint with my blue paint and continue pulling the color down. And you can see here it starts to fade to a lighter color. This is one way you can use paint to help you create cool gradient effects on your paper. Make sure you paint all the way up to the edges and even onto your tape here. And to help you spread that paint and not have to use a ton, make sure you keep your brush a little bit wet. Pulling that down, and if you feel like that's too much white, you can always go back in and add a little more blue to the top here. And now as I get about halfway to my paper, I'm on the center point here, I'm going to start adding some purple into my white. Oop. And then I'm going to add more and more purple going all the way down to the edge of my paper. So we have our background painted and now since this is paint we have to let this dry before we do anything else. Now typically acrylic paint can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to dry depending of course on humidity outside, how much paint is on the paper, how wet was your brush, and there's a million and zillion factors. So we're going to be on the safe side and wait about 20 minutes and we will check back soon. All 
Alright guys, so while I was off camera, after this all dried, I went ahead and I drew out the shape of the head for the jellyfish using a white oil pastel. And I've got my example image up here to kind of reference. And you can see here we have some different colors going on. We've used the white to kind of map out the shape and then use the white for highlight along with yellow, orange, and some red in there. So now that I have this shape here, I'm going to go ahead and take my yellow oil pastel and I'm going to start filling in the sides of the jellyfish on this little top. I have to admit, I don't know the proper terms for all jellyfish parts, so you'll have to be bearing with me as I use the most basic terminology. this in and then I'm gonna go in with some orange over here and I'm using curved lines to color this in because this is a rounded curved dome shape so we want to make it look round and not flat so that's why we go with the curved line go on with some red right about here Now to brighten this up, I'm going to take my white oil pastel and I'm going to go over the top of the colors that I've laid down. And that's going to make all of this pop and look a lot more vibrant. And then I'm just going to continue to blend this out until I'm happy with it. Now underneath, since this is more shaded, I'm going to go along the sides here with yellow. And then I'm going to take a purple oil pastel and kind of create that shadow effect by going on the inside here. And now I'm going to work on blending this all out some more. All right, now for the super fun part. What I'm going to do next is use different colors to create the jellyfish's, jellyfish's tentacles here. And I'm gonna start by using some of the yellow and I'm gonna make just these wavy lines that are coming from the underneath part, the inside of the jellyfish. And I'll make them varying lengths. Some will be short, some will be long. And then I'm gonna go and layer in more colors. Now, in my example, I have orange, I have red, I have a light green, I have pink, I have blue, I have white. So you can get as creative as you want with the example and make your jellyfish as colorful as you would like to. The last color I will do, just to add the highlight of tentacles, is the white though. So save your white for last. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cool. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my jellyfish some movement bubbles because he's underwater. So using my white oil pastel, I'm going to create some white circles of various shapes. Some will be really little, some will be big, some will be in between. Then we want to also create some bubbles down here and now to add shading to my bubbles I'm gonna go ahead and take my pink oil pastel and very lightly go around the edge of the bubbles and then use my white to blend it out all right, go ahead and do that for the rest while I speed up the camera. All 
right, boys and girls, and after we finished our bubbles and took the tape off, we have our finished jellyfish friend made from mixed media, oil pastels, and acrylic paint. I cannot wait to see what your jellyfish friend looks like, so go ahead and take a picture of it when you're done and email it to me at glitterlunglessons at gmail.com. Have a wonderful rest of your day and stay creative. <laughs>